here we are back in drive world and the game has just updated so let's check it out first off just loading into the game you can see in the garage the cars look way more reflective they look way better than they did before looking in the shop we actually have two new cars one is the thunder and the other is the beast here we have the beast i'm gonna upgrade it and see what it looks like This car has some cool accessories that you can put on it. Here we have it fully maxed. I'm gonna upgrade the other car and then we can test it out in a race. Here we have the other truck and I just found out that this is actually electric. Now I'm gonna upgrade it. Because it's electric, you can't actually upgrade the engine. Looking at the score, this thing is really low. This might be the worst car in the game. So it seems as if both of the trucks have the same accessories that you can add on to them. Here we have a new race, let's check it out. This truck seems pretty good. It might actually be competitive in the 600 range. Here is a truck with all the doors open. You can actually open up the tailgate as well. Now let's see what time the electric truck can get. Thank you. 
This car is pretty bad. I wouldn't say there's any actual use in this car, uh, except for the looks, which I don't even like trucks, so I won't ever be using this. Here it is with all the doors open, and you can also open the tailgate on this one. Now that we've looked at the trucks in the shop, let's look at the other stuff they added. Looking at the quest, you can actually see they updated this to make it look way cleaner than it did before, and they've also added new quests for the week, which I'll show me completing these at the end of the video. And I'll try this car and tell you if it's good at all. Before I show the other stuff, they also have another truck in here, but it's currently off sale. As I was upgrading the cars, they actually fixed it and they added the Mega Mamba bet. Here's the car with all the doors open and it's fully stopped. They actually added a brand new thing over here and it's a bowl, which you could do wall rides and stuff on. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I don't see any reason why this was added other than like, I think buildings here would have been better instead of this. While I'm waiting for the 100 minutes played, I am going to upgrade the trucks and show you what I've done to them. Here's the first truck. Uh, you obviously have to squat the trucks if you get them. Looking at the accessories, they actually don't have as many as the other trucks. Now I'll take this one into Beacon and see how good it is. Here we go. Uh, I think it's a little bit slower than the other one. I had a little crash, but it doesn't... Uh, I, it feels worse than the other one. If you go back to where the bridge is, you could actually see better reflections. And it was in the middle of the night as well, where before it didn't even have any reflections. It just was flat color. Now I'm going to change these cards to how I like them, and then I'm going to work on the weekly quest. Here's the second squatted one. I might change the color, but for now, I think this is good. And here's the last one. Uh, I decided to go with a different feel with all of the trucks in the game currently. Here's how I'm getting my wins as I'm doing drag strip, but I also wanted to add that they actually updated this and it looks way nicer than I think it did before because it, it breaks it apart from the roads on the side. All right, as you can see, I have actually finished the two quests, now I'm just waiting on the minutes, and while I wait on that, I'm going to show you some of the new stuff that they added and changed in the game. First off, as I was driving around, I noticed that this tunnel actually, I think it's darker than it was before, which looks, I think it looks more realistic than it did before. Here at the drag strip, they changed the drag strip, and if I come down to the water, they actually made the texture more realistic. 
we have 10 seconds left and then I can finally show you how the car is. And looking at these quests, they actually give you a lot of money. There you go. And now let's claim them. Here is the car stock. This, car, this color is kind of ugly for it. So let's fix that. I think I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. It's not too bad. Uh, now let's see what accessories it has. I actually didn't know you could change this. I don't know if that's any better. I like it without anything, so I'm not going to change any of that. There's what the car sounds like. It actually sounds pretty good. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be like the Focal RS, but the GTR kind, maybe? This might not be fair because it's a rally car, but we'll see how what time it can get on around the world since this is the average race that people will do. This car definitely is not for straight tracks, but let's take it into a dirt track and see how it does. It's definitely better on dirt tracks, but to see how good this car actually is, I'm going to compare it to another car that's in the 1000 range that's also good for dirt tracks. Alright, this isn't scientific or anything, but 
looking at this, it seems like this car being free is actually pretty good in the 1000 range and mostly for tracks that are turning and dirt obviously, but for a free car this is actually better than some of the other cars that people are using for these tracks. Here are all the cars fully stocked so you can see them all beside each other. And let me know what you think about this update. Do you like the cars? Uh, do you like the new quest system? And make sure to like and subscribe because of how fast I put this out. This I got this car as fast as possible. There was no other way to get this any faster.